this works. I don't know. Sometimes uh, it can be hard to hear me in my car, but I thought I would just go live here while I'm driving. I have a few minutes before I go get a massage. Uh, that is not the thing that everybody needs to do, though actually you should do that too. Um, getting massage is really good for the body, the soul, all sorts of things. So um, here, I'll take my sunglasses up. Oh man, that is really bright on the car in front of me. Maybe not. Uh, so anyways, what does everybody need to do? Oh my gosh, people. I have a new excitement in love. <laughs> so I've had a few prophetic words over the last year about doing deliverance ministry. And I don't get all freaked out, you know, bats and owls and demons, oh my. Um, you know, deliverance sounds scary, crazy, weird um, to a lot of people. Um, I was set free from a spirit of lying when I was 19. And why wham, I literally felt this demon scream, no, as they were they were delivering me from it and I, and I was like so free I couldn't even do practical jokes anymore I couldn't lie anymore it was crazy but I haven't had a whole lot of stuff cast out I've had I've broken things off I've had I've broken off soul ties I've done forgiveness work you know I love inner healing heart work um, there's power in that that experiential exchange where you give something to God a lie and he gives you the truth and I still firmly believe in that and it needs to partner with with other things but why did Jesus tell us to do to go deliver people cast out demons heal them set them free so do you need to be go through a deliverance session probably so I uh, pretty much everybody we live in a dirty world it's like you buy a car my car is gonna get dirty because I live in a dirty world you know I, it's just not gonna stay clean all the time so just really just kicking things out so because I had those prophetic words um, about doing more deliverance stuff more hardcore stuff dealing with um, mental illness PTSD setting people free from the demonic I've had dreams in the past about helping people um, you know prostitutes and drug addicts and kind of the hard the hard stuff uh, nobody wants that prophetic word right so I um, I was like if that's what you're calling me to do God then I need my house cleaned out of all little critters like let's just clean out it's just like you know let's clean out a closet let's just see if there's anything in there and uh, so I have some friends Frank and Christy Wentz Frank and I went to high school together actually and his wife Christy they are amazing they are awesome they are so down-to-earth relatable fun funny um, and I felt the Lord wanted me to connect with them because I saw they were doing deliverance ministry now. And um, and they've got a cool story how they got into that as well, too. And so I said, you know what? I just want to clean my house. So I filled out all the paperwork. was really honest in the paperwork. I love, they, had, they say in there, when in doubt, cast it out. Let's just cast it out. Now, it's not like there's a demon under every rock, you know, everything, but there, there's a spiritual realm that we are not fully aware of, and it does affect things. And sometimes we can get healing, inner healing, change our belief system. We're walking with the Lord. We know who we are as a daughter, as a son, you know, as an heir, and you know, all these things. We can do all these things, but yet we still find these hindrances, these blocks, these, you know, I have felt for years, that every time I try to step out into my calling, I get pummeled to the ground physically, emotionally, relationally, divorce, you know, um, my kids' issues, physical issues, COVID, you know, try to take me out, all sorts of different things that um, it's like, God, you've, you have had, since I was 19, he has given me prophetic words since I went to Ethiopia and, and I was given a mandate, really, kind of a calling on my life to have a worldwide ministry, to speak to the nations, to bring healing and transformation and release to the nations. <laughs> and here I am 30 years later, 32 years later, still being a lactation consultant in a hospital, you know, and I've, and I've changed some lives and I've gone on mission trips and I do ministry, you know, with global awakening and some inner healing and things, but, but there's this big calling and I've had dozens of prophetic words of you've got a huge platform. I see you speaking in stadiums. I speak, the world will know you by your writing on and on and on and on. And yet it's been hindered. It's been hindered. Why? And the destruction that has been in my family the last seven years, especially with my husband leaving the Lord and, and leaving the marriage and my kids all leaving the Lord. And there's some really big issues um, with some of my kids that I've just seen destruction, 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 every, every area last year lost $20,000 in income being sick and out of work with no pay and all sorts of different things and money stolen from me. And, and I'm like, it was like, I got canceled by my doctor, canceled by my, my short-term disability, canceled by Facebook, canceled by, like, it's like the enemy has overplayed his hand. 
and so I'm sick of it. And so I've been having some physical issues with back and hip, and I thought, you know, maybe that's demonically related. Who knows? I'm going to a chiropractor. I'm doing all the things. So when in doubt, let's cast it out. So I fill out my paperwork, send it in, and they had two sheets of demonic spirits that they felt like were uh, attacking me, you know, deal, you know, causing, creating havoc. And I'm like, two sheets? They're like, some people have six. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, two's good then. Um, oh my gosh, people, drop your pride. Drop the arrogance. Drop the fear. Drop the doubt. Of, like, no, I probably don't have anything. It's not me. Can't be. If you've got things in your life you can't explain, hindrances, um, sickness, illness, disease, thought processes, struggles, anxiety, depression, you know, anything. There could be some generational or non-generational um, spirits that are coming against you trying to keep you from being who you are. You were designed to live in abundance. We are kingdom sons and daughters and we are designed to live an abundant life. Jesus came, he said, to give you life and life abundantly and to go destroy the works of the devil. So, um, I'm, I feel amazing today. I feel absolutely amazing. It was a couple hour session. There were, there were some smaller little, you know, demonic critters that we easily could kick out. And then there were some big ones, um, that had been there generationally, like since one of them since like the late 1800s that had been in my family line. And I, it, when I say it, it helped my life make sense. I can't even tell you. I'm sorry about that. Let me see if I can mute that real quick. Um, it helped make my, it helped make sense. Oh my gosh. Can't get rid of that. Where did it get that out of there? Um, as to why things would happen the way they happen, why I would have thought process, why I would struggle with different things. Like, and, and it's like, I know this isn't me. I kept saying to God, like, this isn't me, but why I've broken soul ties. I've done, I've done the forgiveness work. I've done the heart healing for years, decades. People will have one heart healing session and be like, I'm all good. No, like, I mean, I've done years of counseling and heart healing and internal family systems, EMDR, like you name it. And so why do I still struggle with these different things? Why are these things coming against my family, coming against me? Why is, why have you called me to abundance and entrepreneurship, but there's this wall that I keep hitting? Like what the freak? So these big ones, the, uh, they've been there forever before I was born. So once they cleaned out all the critters, and I could tell you crazy stories. One, okay, really quick. One was funny. So if this is freaking some of you guys out, just bear with me. Um, I'm not crazy. I, there is a spiritual realm. And I would think it sounds crazy if I was listening to me say it. But um, one, of the, one of the demonic um, entities, um, I think it was destruction. Um, when they were kicking it out, you know, because we have legal authority to do that. You know, we have legal authority as, as sons and daughters of the king. Um, Jesus gave us that authority to say, hey, take a hike. This is a Christian. You are, you are in her space and you're not allowed to be there. And so th this demon, I just started crying. I could feel the demon crying inside of me. Like I could feel it crying and I could feel it going, but... But this was my life's work, and I just like I was doing my job, like just destroying things. And like, like he was so sad and upset that he was getting kicked out, and wasn't, and he had just spent all like you know 50 years trying to ruin my life or whatever. <laughs> I just, we were laughing at it, you know, we were laughing at that, you know, just their the demonic response. They have personalities. Um, all their personalities are very different. Some were very catty, some were angry, some were you know like it just sounds crazy, doesn't it? sounds crazy but oh my gosh do I feel free and empty and happy and light and I was hoping my scale would show 10 pounds lighter but it didn't dang it um but so here's the interesting thing all those prophetic words that I had over my life about big big ministry big calling my whole family oh my gosh we literally have had um so many prophetic words about my family being a whole um, family of prophets and you know the ministry side of things with all my kids and, and even my ex-husband and um they christy and frank sat beside me to pray a blessing upon me to you know once you kick everything out let's refill it seal it um and frank could hardly pray he could feel the demonic kind of in the room and christy could feel it i was in this little bubble of peace i'm like i feel good and frank's like no there's something here and so he asked it you know what it was and it was a territorial spirit and he heard east coast his wife was like i think it might be more hampton roads but it was a big 
territorial spirit. And honestly, I kind of believe it might have even been East Coast because God gave me a prophetic word over my kids that they would be five pillars on the Eastern seaboard. Five pillars in the house of the Lord. And I saw them from Maine, like down to Florida, like, like established on that Eastern seaboard, so to speak. And a pillar I learned later is an overcomer. I'm like, well, no wonder we struggle with all these things because you got to have something to overcome. So anyways, um, he sent it back to where it needs to go. You don't mess with territorial spirits. And later he said, you know, that has never happened, Lori. We have never had a territorial spirit come to our house and show up here and, and you know. And I said, well, why did that happen? He goes, because of what you carry. Because of what you carry. He is pissed that you, that you just got set free from all this stuff that's been hindering you and, and attacking you and, and bringing destruction and all these other things um, your whole life. And I'm like... Well, that makes sense, um, you know, that it would be pissed. It would be pissed. So, anyways, I've got to go into my massage. I just arrived here. Hey, guys. Hey, Eva. Hey, Amy and Natalie. Um, Eva says I can totally relate. So, I've got some crazy stories I would be happy to share with anybody regarding, you know, the demonic. And if it's like, if it's something that you're like, oh, I don't think that's me. I feel pretty healed up. That was me. I, I mean, I. if anybody knows me, I am all about ministry. I am all about heart healing. I'm constantly checking my heart with the Lord and getting inner healing from other people and, and spending time in the Word and worship and all this kind of stuff. And yet, yes, you can be oppressed as a Christian. I was, I'm not possessed, you know, like to where, you know, because I have Holy Spirit in there, but there's generational stuff where there were some legal rights that these, these demons thought that they had. And we just went out and said, no, mm -mm, no, not anymore. You don't. We see you now. It's time to get out. Pack it all up. Get all your little cohorts to go. You got a clean house. Pack up. Goodbye. You're gone. Go back to the pit of hell. And um, so I say do it. Win it out. Chuck it out. Kick it out. Cast it out. Um, if there's things that have been hindering you and you've done the inner healing, you've done the counseling, you've tried the meds, you've done it, you, like you just, you know, you're reading and this and that. And you, it, Let's just, let's try the spiritual realm. We are body, soul, and spirit. Some things interlap in the middle. Some things are strictly in those different realms. And let's just, just kick it out. And so I'm super excited that I'm going to be um, partnering with uh, Frank and Christy to, we're going to talk about in regards to um, bringing that inner healing aspect. And my dad also, he does a lot of inner healing and deliverance stuff. And they're finding other ministers to be able to bring some connection to how do we, how do we help heal these people wholly? You know, so once you get all these stuff kicked out, and if you don't have a relationship like a father, daughter, father, son relationship, you don't understand the father heart of God, your identity and who you are as a son, as a, as an heir, as a priest, as you know, reigning and ruling in the kingdom, you know, like let's, let's get some extra inner healing and stuff to work with that as well too. And get you those experiential encounters with the Lord, um, so that we can be who God created us to be. Right. So I do have to go. I am late for my appointment. I love you guys. I'm sure I'll come on again and share. But if you want more information about Deliverance Ministry, um, if you're here in this area, I, ha I highly recommend, um, my friends, Frank and Christy. And they are also training people under them. So they will have other people who also do ministry as well, too. And um, if you're not from this area, I'm sure that we can somehow figure out how to get you connected, maybe with somebody uh, in your area. But just clean it out. Check it out, man. Get rid of those little critters. They just are not your friends. They're not your friends. They're not. They were not my friends. They are not. All right. I got better friends to entertain. Father God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. They're my favorite friends. So, all right. Love you guys. Uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.